Welcome, friends, to a new episode of Lineage 2 on the Helios server, uh, Chrono server, rather. And we're going to check out Harold and this guy, um, register for the clan hall war. What? You must have a level 4 clan. View staging. Unregistered, 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 unregistered. Register for the clan war. I thought I made it clear the registration does not begin until blah, blah, blah. Okay, you you suck. You're horrible. All right, that was useless. <laughs> All right, guys, and we are back, and I'm still... Wait, dude, what? Wait, hey, whoa, 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 buddy. Don't... Jeez, clobber stomp thing. Dang. What are you even trying to do, baby kookaburra? So, I'm still waiting for a name from you guys for our kookaburra. But I'm just going to sit here and level them. You know, I'm hanging out in uh, the outlaw forest. And we're doing okay. Leveling is going well. Uh, it's all right. And, you know, we left off last episode doing some doing some things with the, uh, uh, the quest here in outlaw forest. And I'm still hanging out here in the outlaw forest. I figured it would be a good idea to start maybe leveling the baby kookaburra. So... He's, let's see what he does here. So, let's let's see what happens if I, he's at 2591. What does he get for me killing a dude? So about plus four, point four, not bad. And he's got, uh, he's got shots, so he's good. So I'm just wondering how, some of you guys might know. Um, I did some, Back in the Infinity, uh, Infinite Odyssey days, I did start with the baby Kookaburra, and I never got a name for him. And I did get some people commenting on what you can do with your pets and stuff like that. And I got a lot of stuff that wasn't really, people were unsure of. What I'm wondering is, if now that we're in the Helios, um, not that it's any different than Infinite Odyssey, other than some changes at the end game, what, it, are there benefits to updating or actually going through the process of leveling our baby kookaburra. Will it turn into a regular kookaburra? Because that would be super cool if it does. Does it get bigger? If it does get bigger, can I ride it? Um, I mean, I have a horse, so it's not that big of a deal if I can or can't. It would just be interesting to know some of the things behind these pets. For those of you that are like pet owners and things like that, maybe you guys know. I would really like to know. It would really help me out. Um, I'd be, I'd be pretty excited to see if, if we really did put in the time and effort to level this guy, and get him up to a high level, how he would work. You know. Um, I also did notice he doesn't get any SP. So I don't know. Do they have skills that they need to get? I don't think so. I think these are all the skills they have. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can do a lot more with it. I'm not sure. I'm looking to you guys to see if any of you have leveled a baby kookaburra. Um, I did I did do a little bit of research and I think um, from what I found, and maybe this is false, I'm not sure, maybe you guys can tell me. You can get a dragon and the dragon will fly. Because if that's the case, I will ditch this baby kookaburra and we will get ourselves a dragon and I will level that dragon like a boss and we will fly that dragon like nobody's business because that would be super cool. I'm I'm not even kidding. Like I I will put in the effort to do that. If we can fly in the game, let me know down in the comments. For those of you that know about pets and have really put a lot of research and time into them, please let me know. Um, also, on the flip side of that coin, if it's a waste of time, tell me to stop doing it. Blatantly in all caps say, stop leveling that pet, you idiot. <laughs> and I will gladly stop leveling the pet because it's obviously not worth my time. Um, but if there is a pet to level, and there is a pet that will be worth our time to level, let me know, and I will definitely go about doing that. 
um, and start trying to get armor and saddles and all this stuff for it um, and that kind of stuff because that would be super fun. Um, what is that? Oh, just a weird texture is all. So yeah, I'm just hanging out here. We are uh, smashing more and more of the dudes in the outlaw forest. I'm leveling my pet. It's a lot of fun. And the love event's still happening. It's still super, super love. Uh, which is kind of funny because right now I'm not loving anything. I'm loving killing these dudes maybe. But that's not very nice. <laughs> so um, it's kind of counterproductive. But whatever. <laughs> it's working. And we made it to level 47. And we're about 30% away from getting to level 48. Which if memory serves that's the next time we get skills. Look at that, level 48. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start just kind of banging away at this. And uh, we're going to see if we can get to level 48. Um, or I'm going to get to 48. I'm not going to grind it out with you. We've done a little bit of grinding on a couple videos in a row now. So I don't want to keep boring you with me just smashing stuff with Wind Strike over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> Unless that's what you want to see, but I don't think so. As always, um... Yeah, I'll bring you back once um, I make it to level 48, and maybe we will do um, a little tour, or I will talk to my clanmates. Maybe we can hook up with some of them, um, or something like that. So, I'll bring you back in a little bit. Alright guys, we are back, and I have talked to a few of my clanmates, and they are going to... They told me... Some of them told me that they haven't really leveled a pet. So they don't know whether or not some of the pets are good or not, but they did tell me what is what might be worth it. And let's take a look. I believe they're out here. Where where are you guys at? Where's Where are you guys at? Mm-hmm. A Fenrir. No, not there. Grrr. So like a wolf. Look at this. So this is worth it. And you can ride this. Oh, sweet. That is awesome. So that's kind of worth it. That might be something that we try to obtain. I'm super excited about that. Where can I get one? I want one. Oh, and it fights for you too, which is super cool. Thank you. Thank you much. Hushi Kente. I appreciate it. Very nice. So that's pretty awesome. And some people have told me whether or not they, they don't they're not sure if you can fly the dragons. Um you might have to be a clan hall owner or something like that. AH is the easiest way. AH. I don't know all the acronyms. They, these guys all know the acronyms. I don't know the acronyms. What do you mean AH? Tell me, what's AH? The auction house? Oh, okay. Cool. Thank you. Thank you much. I appreciate it. Hoochie Kente, thank you for showing me that. I might have to get one of those. It's pretty sweet. Look at him. Oh, he's pretty beast. Look, he's red. He's super high, high level. Awesome. Can you fly the dragons? That's pretty cool. So we might want to take a look at that. So we'll have to see if we can get one of those guys. That's definitely something that might be worth uh, leveling. He is so cool looking. I mean, I know we have a horse and everything, but... That's super cool. I'm still wondering if you can fly the dragons. I'm not sure, 100%. But if you can, great. If you can't, uh, whatever. Um, only if the clan leader and you own a castle. Okay, that's so there are some stipulations, which is pretty cool. Um, I like that. That's pretty neat to be able to check out and take a look. Well, let's take a look. Okay, thank you. Um, pretty cool. My clan mates are pretty awesome. They, they know quite a bit. Um, so usually I reach out to them 
to see what we can do. So let's start doing all these and learning what we can. Uh, Body of Avatar. Restores HP for all party members. 20 minutes. Oh, dang. That is a huge one. That's pretty cool. We need to definitely add that to our... Um, our, our, our deal. <laughs> Can I just keep clicking okay here? Yeah, here we go. Boom, learning, learning all the stuff. Jeez, there's so much. I'm running out of, uh, available SP. Uh, so let's get our heals because those are obviously important. Uh, resurrection. That's super important. Restore life. Greater group heal. Very important. Come on. And I'm out of... Can't do anymore. Out of SP. Oh. Look at that guy. It looks like a velociraptor. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That is cool. Look at all these pets. They're so cool. So we need to get some of that stuff. These are cool. Like this baby kookaburra. Here, let me let me summon mine and they can all laugh. Laugh now. <laughs> My, mine is a baby and they've all got cool stuff. <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. These are pretty worthless also, the dino blah blah blahs. Yeah. Okay, yeah, pretty. I mean, it's still kind of cool that you have a pet. I mean, these pets are huge. Like, mine's like a baby. Like, I got nothing, but they've all got, like, super cool pets. Like, I don't have cool pets. Laugh now. <laughs> yeah, they can all laugh at my baby pet, and they've got super cool pets. But... Well, guys, I think that was super cool. Um, I think we're going to have to go check out the auction house. All right, guys, we are back, and I am following my friend, Huji Kente, to the auction house manager. Sweet. Thank you. And let's see um, if they're available. Use the auction house. Fenrir. Level 105 is 99 million. Necklace that can summon a Fenrir takes part of XP gained Pet Master. That's pretty cool. Um, I could get that. I wonder if it's worth 99 million. I mean, I have 470, and the whole game, you know, is... It, I don't know if I want to spend 100 million to get one. But we know what they're called now, so if we want to get one, we could. And the fact that it's 105, that's so cool. It's really, really cool. Like, this thing could maybe help me, like, level as a healer. So it might take away a little bit of my, uh, you know what? Item to purchase a level 105 Fenrir, Fenrir necklace. Do you want to continue with this purchase? Oh, what do you think, guys? Oh, man. It's 100 million, whatever. It's it's money. I could get more money. Like I, it, Then I'll be at 370 million. Yep, we're going to do it. Why not? Why not, right? It's part of the game. For fun. It's for fun. Let's do it. Bye. Yep. Now I own one. Oh, man, this is awesome. And now I got a pet. Sweet. Let's see. Awesome. Oh, now I have one. Awesome. Can I get on you? Let's get on you and ride around. Actions. Peace out, Kookaburra. Peace out, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we can awaken Maul, Big Bite, Move, Unsummon. Obviously, we're going to need that. Yep. Um, pick up, attack, 
Change movement. Items. Baby spice. I don't think it'll eat that, but I want to get on him. How do I get on him? Maybe I can't. Move. I'm gonna need a. I'm gonna need a. Uh, a name. Your armor, necklace, and it has B still shots if you're using it for attacking. Awaken its hidden powers. Cry wolf. Awesome. This is great. So we can buy some armor and stuff for this thing now. Um, which will be really good. So that's super fun. Change movement mode. How do I ride it? One oh five. So I need a name. I'm gonna need a name for me guys for Fenrir. This is so cool. Look in your skills. Oh, in my skills. Token action. Mount and dismount. So cool. What does it say? Why does it say that? I can't do it. Um, a hungry strider cannot be mounted or dismounted. Okay, we need to find the pet manager. Because now I need to buy some pet stuff because the baby spice is not going to work. Cool. Now we need some food. Awesome. I'm going to have to find the uh, pet manager, dude. Are you in here? Where's the pet manager? Um, Auction house manager. Oh, it's even on the dang thing. Is there a pet manager here in a... I'm not sure. Since he is hungry. Great wolf food pet manager is over here. Sweet! Oh, there we go. Awesome. Fenrir. Hey. <whistles> Come here, buddy. Uh, change movement mode. Yeah, there you go. Follow me. And we need wolf food. Uh, let's trade items. Great wolf food. 1,000. What? How much food do I wish to move? 1,000. 1 1.2 million. Bam. Bye. And we are going to open up you and your items. And we're going to put that in here. All. No, all. All 1,000. There you go, buddy. Boom. Eat up. Are you still hungry? You'll eat on your own. There you go. Yeah, we need a... Uh... Now I should be able to mount him. Yes! <laughs> this is awesome. We got another pet. Oh, fantastic. We got a, a, fe a Fenrir. So I need a name for me, guys. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please stomp the like button. It really helps me out. It shows me that you're enjoying the uh, episodes and all of that awesomeness. And uh, as always, don't forget to like and share on your favorite social media. And I will catch you in the next episode.